The first step is to disengage your top motor so that you don't destroy them as you manually move the top. In order to gain access to the convertible motor, you need to first remove the rear seats. Do so by pulling up on the front of the seats and then pull out and up at a 45 degree angle. The convertible motor is located in the middle of the two rear seats. You want to depress the button on the convertible motor and use the included Allen wrench to twist counterclockwise until the button remains in the down or depressed position. It is worth noting here that my convertible motor is exposed. Yours will have a cover on it showing only that back button and then the Allen wrench hole. The next step is to disengage the top where it latches at the windshield. If your top is stopped halfway, you may be able to skip this step. However, loosening it does help you manually manipulate the top. This video is very sped up. If you do use a drill, go slowly so that you can feel the resistance and not break anything. Use a sharp blade or scissors to open the harness weave. Basically, you want to gain access to the wires in the weave without accidentally cutting the wires. The problem area tends to be at the first bend right above the driver door. In this video, I've removed the weave and you can see my wires are all exposed. Some of them have been previously repaired. Once you have the wires exposed, you simply need to find the broken wire. Usually this is one of the thinner wires, oftentimes the green or the brown wire. Be sure to pull back the harness weave if you can't find the broken wire. I removed this clip simply by bending it. That way I could gain further access to the wires. When I pulled back the weave, I was able to find the broken wire. The next step is to repair the broken wire. I chose a butt splice method, in which case I take the existing wire, butt splice it to a short length of new wire, and then butt splice that end to the other side of the existing wire. This is me placing the butt splice on the existing car wire, and then placing the new wire in the other end of the butt splice. It is then heated to form a connection. Sadly, this camera angle is not very clear but I have placed one end of the broken wire into the butt splice and then placed a new length of wire into the other end of the butt slice and then heated it to form a connection and then I'll do it on the other end of the broken wire. The final product turns out to be a very strong secure connection just ensure that you've bought the correct size butt splices. It is important to do some type of cable management, whether that be zip ties or, as I did, buying a new wiring weave off Amazon.